Welcome to this Times Techies webinar. My name is Shilpa Fandas and I have with me my colleague Sujit John. The two of us will moderate today's discussion. We hope you and your families are staying safe and doing well. Our discussion today is on Golang, the trends and career opportunities. Golang or Go as most call it is an open source programming language that makes it easier to build simple, reliable, efficient software. Go is a procedural and statistically type programming language having syntax similar to the C programming language. It was developed in 2007 at Google, but uh, it was brought into the market in 2009 as an open source uh, programming language. To discuss this, we have three seasoned professionals. We have Iman Tungono, Senior Principal Engineer at Coinworks, an Indonesia-based super financial app that provides both investment and liabilities products under a single platform. A self-proclaimed T-shaped engineer with knowledge in front-end, DevOps, data engineering, agile. Iman has expertise in backend systems, architecture, mentoring, um, and backend systems. He loves to write code, discussing best practices and learning philosophy. Welcome, Iman. Thank you, Silpa. We have Suresh Shekhar. <laughs> Suresh is founder and CEO of PicoSoft. Suresh started PicoSoft six years ago with just him. He was the, I mean, he was the founder, he was just one person. Today, PicoSoft has over 100 employees. It's a NASCOM member company. PicoSoft has developed more than 500 web and 50 mobile applications. It's an ardent user of Golang. The company says Go is becoming popular among developers because of the absolute control over the API layer with real-time operations. Welcome, Suresh. Thank and you, thank have, you very much. And we have Hemant Raju. Hemant is VP of Engineering at Coinworks. He has worked in fintech, P2P, wealth tech, insure tech, and e-commerce industries. He's skilled in architecture, system design, databases, Go, Ruby, and JavaScript. He has built large-scale product and engineering teams from scratch. He believes that 10x engineering is not a myth, but a mindset to grow the efficiency of engineering teams. Welcome, Hemant. Hey, how's it going? Those who are viewing this can send in questions through the Facebook comment box. Shilpa and I will put them to Hemant, Iman, and Suresh. We'll begin with short presentations from Hemant and Iman, and then we'll get into a discussion. So over to you, Hemant. Sure, thanks, Sujit. Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I'll be predominantly talking about why Golang. And uh, <clears throat> to start with, uh, there was a recent survey on uh, Stack Overflow regarding like who, which is like uh, superb languages across. And uh, over a period of uh, just one year, Go has actually picked up from position 10 to position five. And like uh, there are a bunch of folks uh, who's like uh, wanted to learn, uh, which is around 17 person there. Meaning, uh, so the Golang is going to grow upward and that's how the trend is actually uh, keeping up. The next thing is fun versus fast. Uh, so yeah, I was a Ruby geek back then. And uh, there were like a bunch of languages, which is like uh, super fun to program with. Uh, but uh, there are like bunch of languages which are efficient for uh, the computers. But Go has managed the balance between the fun and the fast factor. Uh, that's the main uh, reason I would say like why Go is like uh, picking up so fast. And uh, yeah, and the next thing is uh, simple and concurrent. So basically there were like a bunch of uh, languages who are like really efficient in doing concurrency programming, right? But uh, with comparison for the concurrency, like concurrency is like one of the toughest and the most complicated part of writing the code. But with Go, uh, it has made very straightforward with the simplistic uh, way and uh, the way it, uh, uh, we we, uh, we write the concurrency in the Go line. And <clears throat> syntax simplicity. Uh, so basically, if you see the language uh, itself is so simple in terms of writing. So there's a simple hello world program. And uh, the next is demand. So basically the Spectrum uh, recently released their like uh, demand uh, coding, uh, which is like uh, super demanding codes. So if you see uh, in last uh, just couple of years, 
uh, it is uh, uh, across uh, the Eastern Europe and uh, the uh, US. There are like been uh, almost around nine to 10 interview requests per candidate. And it's recently growing in Southeast Asia. So about like last uh, three to four years, but it's going to soon pick up a lot uh, in India as well. And a uh, bunch of use cases. Uh, the use cases are like, yeah, you can do a lot of web CLIs if you have known about Kubernetes and kubectl is predominantly developed on uh, Golang and DevOps and SRE. So back then it was like Ruby was the DevOps language kind of thing. It's slowly diverging to Golang actually. And distributed network service, uh, concurrency, concurrency is like the most important part of uh, networks. So since the Go, Golang is like super rich in concurrency, it's actually picking up there. And a bunch of real use cases also. Uh, American Express used uh, Go for their payments and rewards. Uh, basically, they are processing around 150,000 requests per second. And that's the scale it's kind of operating. And uh, Netflix uh, actually moved their couple of services to Golang uh, to be on enterprise. And Uber actually used uh, to improve their user experience. They were like predominantly on Node for some services and they tried to move that uh, to Go for uh, faster uh, maps resolutions. And with that also on uh, Coinworks, we also uh, migrated a bunch of uh, almost all our services. We were like predominantly on Rails and we moved uh, to a microservice architecture for Golang. So yeah, that's about it from my side, uh, guys. Okay, Iman. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me share my screen, yeah. Uh, okay. So my presentation may be a little bit broader, not only about Golang, but uh, this is what I thought, uh, why maybe today we should consider Go, consider to choose Golang, yeah. So it's about the microservices, cloud, and Go. So basically, start from the technology and the startup. So I think every startup is uh, solving what the problem, yeah. Either it's a financial problem, logistic problem, Anything is a word problem, it's a big problem. And solving word problem means solving many people problem. It's a, so your, your, your app, app must be serve the millions. And how to serve the millions? So basically in the technology, we know some uh, scaling, scaling up strategy. Yeah. So we know uh, vertical scaling, which is uh, basically uh, you add more CPU and more RAM to your servers, or the horizontal scaling. So on the horizontal scaling, basically you like a, a create clone yeah, of your servers, and maybe using some load balancer and anything to like a distributed the the load yeah the load the request load, and uh, more detail about this. We call it a distributed system. So imagine like this, yeah. You have very, very, very big and heavy box, and you want to lift it. So with the vertical scaling, what you're doing, so it's very big box, and you cannot uh, lift it right now. So if you want to lift it, uh, the box uh, with the vertical scaling approach, you become bigger, you grow taller, you become more muscular, and anything, you become a giant. Uh, to be able to lift the box but on the horizontal scaling you kind of like a clone yourself and do it together to be able to uh, lift the box but uh, actually uh, there is something called microservices so basically uh, we kind of like a break down the service for uh, scale scale up even further yeah so with the same analogy like uh, you want to lifting box so what happened in the mic microservice is that in order you to lift 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 the box you become the robots you become the robot so for the lift the box you only need maybe a bigger like a bigger hand a bigger 
arm ya bigger arm or you maybe uh, need to for arm so basically basically like that yeah. so every part every part of our body or, or the surface is uh, become uh, the surface itself yeah. so you know, so we kind of like you know, break down the surface into the smaller surface and we can scale it smaller surface uh, depend on our need yeah for example uh, we can like uh, uh, clone our head into three uh, we still have one lung but very big lung four arm six like uh, something like that and um, uh, the the micro surfaces also um, make the surface more resilient so if you want to lift the box the very heavy one but you insist and in the end you cannot leave it but your your hand become uh, broken yeah. your hand become broken so what happened is not only your 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 arm is broken but you die yeah all of you die but on the micro surfaces if you want to lift up the box using your hand but your hand cannot uh, do it your leg is broken yeah only your leg you still can be thinking you still can do anything and this is what a uh, simple thing about microservices. So basically, we break down the surface. And not only break down the surface, uh, the idea of microservices also break down the team. Yeah. Break down the team. Uh, but not only break down the surface and break down the uh, team for the scalability, your problem became, become scale up too. Yeah become scale up. So there is many challenges yeah, to implement the microservices. So uh, I don't recommend you to adopt the microservices. At least you really need it in terms of scalability and you have enough time, in, in, enough, enough team. Uh, so one of the challenges of the microservices, which is for the setting up the infra and for the deployment. And uh, maybe 20 years ago, it's not possible for the microservice, but now it's possible because uh, right now we have cloud cloud computing, which is we like uh, provisioning the the IT infra using cloud. So basically, is a uh, uh, is we have like a EAS, PaaS, and SaaS, which is. EAS is a, like an infrastructure as a service, PaaS is a platform as a service, so SaaS is a software as a service. So imagine you have um, Photoshop in your computer. Uh, in order to have a Photoshop, you must have, a, have the computer, you must install the operating system, then you must install the Photoshop. But uh, using the EAS, you doesn't need to have the computer. You just uh, simple click, then the computer is already there. Uh, in the past, you doesn't need to uh, install the OS. You just need to install the, the the software. And with the with the SaaS, you just said I want the SaaS, and it will be happen. So it will be uh, automated. It will be uh, as simple as a, a few clicks. So um, and this is behind the cloud, which is a virtualizations. So basically, uh, it not come up. Uh, right away there is a technology behind it uh, it call it virtualization so i will skip it and for the deployment also we know like a continuous delivery uh, basically uh, this is one of the four practice and um, uh, basically to deploy some service we are uh, using some automations yeah automation to deploy uh, and before 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 we deploy we also do some automate automated testing and for the monitoring and etc so i will be quick yeah uh, so with the cloud and continuous delivery what the best programming language you may choose maybe golang yeah i think why uh Heman already uh give the reasons uh but i would like to say on the history yeah. so basically uh, cloud uh, go is uh, grow in the this, the same time with the cloud, which is uh, it's like a uh, 
it's helping uh, cloud and it's also whatever cloud needed, uh, it's covered by Golang. So uh, developed by Google, 2007, designed by Robert Kisser, Rob Pike, and Ken Thompson. It's already big figure even before Golang. Uh, publicly announced and at the November 2009, Uh, version one was released 2012, and the latest release is September 20, uh, 2021. So from here we know that uh, it's not really new, but uh, it's still uh, improved. Uh, Golang already adapt in the top tech company, and like uh, Uber, uh, Google, Tweet, Daily Motion, Sentry, Dropbox, South Cloud, and anything. Even the Golang itself is developed by Golang. So like uh, the Golang, the new, the, the, the latest version of Golang is uh, actually uh, developed by the preference, preference version of Golang. And also uh, Golang is using in many open source. So we have Docker, Kubernetes, Istio, Terraform, ImplugDB, and CockroachDB. And if you see that uh, the open source that you see in the Golang is very related with the cloud, yeah. So, Maybe this is what makes uh, Golang uh, trusted yeah, for the cloud. And yeah, this is some advantages to the advantage of Golang. So Golang is compiled to binary, uh, which is uh, compared with the other programming language like uh, Java, PSP, or anything. Compiled to binary is quite advantage because for the deployment, is you only need to copy paste the binary to the machine. And you doesn't need to set up anything else. Uh, compare with the other language, uh, Java or anything, you must deploy the the runtime library or anything. But for the library, you have blank server, copy the binary, and it's running optimally. Compare compare with the other, maybe you need some setting, but uh, in Golang, copy binary is enough, and the performance is uh, uh, better, yeah especially compared with the scripting language like a Python, Ruby, or PHP. Uh, simple and easy to learn because the, the syntax, the simplicity is one, uh, one bigger selling point of Golang. Uh, it's a simple syntax. Uh, it's easy to learn uh, and have a lightweight concurrency. So concurrency in Golang also may be better than compared in other yeah. Uh, because uh, they adopt some concept called parallelism. parallelism. So it's like a reuse uh, trait in the OS. Yeah. And also garbage collector also, uh, Golang have a garbage collector and garbage collector is uh, quite advanced other than, uh, than, than other language. On the garbage collector, uh, basically we have like a one woman, we call it like a stop the work, where the application trying to like a clean up the, the dangling memory pointer. And it really, it, it's very efficient in Golang. Uh, but also Golang have the disadvantage, like a lack of the development convention. So right now, Uh, if you see one Golang project to another, you can see like a very different project layout, the folder, the file, and the library also much, but there is no like a convention there. It be, it become like a, a problem because you you need to you need you need to know what you choose, yeah, and also lack of some programming feature. Uh, as I said before, one one advantage of Golang is a simplicity. That means some feature is not there, and this is become, uh, I think, most complaint for Golang, uh, which is like a no generic support, which is make you hard to creating a framework and anything, and also error handling got some critics. Yeah, I don't have, I don't really complain about the error handling. It's very uh, nice, but It's a different, yeah. So, uh, Golang philosophy is like uh, you must return the error as a value, which is it's not common. Maybe only Golang that uh, using that. So, yeah, 
that's it uh, my presentation i hope i don't uh take okay. too much time yeah thanks thanks iman thanks iman uh can you uh, remove this presentation iman uh yeah yeah uh okay sure yeah thanks Th thanks 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 uh shaker i mean uh, tell me i mean you uh shaker you're there right shaker you're muted huh hello what happened to sh yeah suresh your camera is also off yeah suresh okay. we can come back to suresh yeah yeah, yeah. so hemant what um, uh, you got oh okay suresh you're back is it, suresh you're muted mute, you're muted you're muted yeah ah okay what happened <clears throat> oh, just to internet connect <laughs> okay okay so what because of you're using a lot of go is it yes uh then in 2018 uh, we had started for uh, our con go project uh, earlier stage very difficult to getting a projects actually it is a very new event in that india okay so that time we are developed small small functionalities uh, and we can publish in the github actually for us uh, uh, it's name part go geek.dev so for that, uh, the most of the inquiries we are uh, getting from uh, other countries, uh, they're giving uh, hiring a developers for us uh, go through it because we have a not much experienced uh, developer with us at that time because it's very new. Uh, we have a two a maximum two year experience. So if you started 2018, there's a booming stage. 2018, 2021 is a booming stage of Golang. So we got a more uh, uh, work on that. So we in slowly increasing our team actually for us. Now we have got we are developing on the recruitment portal, the big part. Uh, whatever the hair month and uh, month told that. Are. So uh, everything we really we are uh, 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 faced that these type of uh, things and uh, we are executed for all of this actually for us. And um, it's very, our developer and myself uh, love it for the Go Lang actually work on Go Lang. So very uh, less code of, uh, less code and easily we can get a li libraries. And uh, these are things very interesting factors. Uh, the area we are comparing the PHP and uh, C, C plus Java, uh, it's very more useful for us actually for us. You, you were using PHP and C plus plus earlier, is it? Yeah, yeah. Earlier we have started uh, because we are uh, any new technology in this market, we can start work on this actually for us. Even Node.js, uh, React, or uh, um, but GoLang is because GoLang what is a language, it's not a scripting. So what we thought is. Uh, alternative for uh, go, why we go with C, C, C plus Java, but it's a, it is a 2K kids kind of uh, technology. So uh, then we can plan for us go, actually, we are tried for us. So uh, very well for a easy, easy land. Actually, the developers very easily can learn it actually for us. Yeah. Uh -huh. go languages. Um, you, who know very well, a little bit knowledge about C, they can easily can learn for uh, go land for us. Very useful. So you are using go for which, uh, which uh, what kind of applications? Yeah, and right now we're developing for a, when the recruitment portal actually we are developing actually. So in the, in this case, uh, there are lacks of records. Uh, each com this is a SaaS platform we are developing. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, finding uh, so we have to search a resume, uh, resumes in the database and uh, we are developing a microservices architecture. Uh, whatever the scalability based we are developing, whatever the month told them, same kind of microservices architecture we are doing. There are resume searching is separate services and the registration is separate services. The payment gateway is separate services. So everything is separate separate services. We are working on deployment AWS and we work on the equipment portal. So minute we can get one lakh record, uh, records response we can get. Uh, even if so multi-threading also. Anyway, we are really real times we are facing the issue other language, but it's all uh, everything solved by the go lang actually. Okay, okay. Give me a sense. I mean, uh, all of all of you said that uh, globally, GoLang uh, Go is really doing well and all of that. But India, it's still not not too many developers still very familiar with Go. Uh, Go Correct. Why yeah. do you think that is the case? India has so many developers. They always seem to be on top of things. Why isn't? There... See, generally, in, here is uh, India's uh, the developers uh, already who are working in the PHP uh, other language. They have to upskill it to be better uh, for us. Uh, still, uh, they are working for the uh, knowledge in some other technologies. Uh, and um, uh, in, in career, I'm talking about for that uh, rec uh, career based. If you go other other companies or something, we, we have experience in PHP, then you can get a better salary for the PHP. We have experience on that. 
but if you go the go, go or some other lang, uh, languages uh, it should have up, uh, it should have to give up skills but uh, there is uh, companies have to give opportunity for up skills that people uh, people search for that time the more developers uh, easily can uh, um, up skilling for go lang but if you start anyone can pressure uh, pressure uh, passed out i want learn new technologies go is a wonderful thing for us yeah hemant yes. what do you think yeah i'm absolutely uh, with suresh there so anyone uh, want to start with a new programming language like just the college pass outs yeah definitely suggest uh, golang to be Go yeah 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 and uh, the probably <clears throat> if you see the current uh, golang pool in india is abro- approximately around 20000 plus i would say and which is like far less and uh, yeah it's like very hard uh, to higher also in golang predominantly because uh, the language itself is not the adoption rate is only with the people who are like facing some scaling challenges so basically it's like uh, some people some companies who are kind of facing some scaling challenges are kind of trying to adopt uh, the golang If i thought all the startups today the funded startups at least all of them yes. would be scaling a lot no Uh, yes but not at the scale uh, which we expect like um, like i was talking about uber or like uh, american express they are like processing around 150000 requests per second right so if you want to kind of achieve those kind of scalings yes uh, you would definitely look at something like go and stuff like that but apart from that uh, like bunch of startups are not really into go still uh, because they are not really into scaling or like those so taking our example back then in 2019 we were like completely on uh, rails monolith and uh, we wanted to m- move towards uh, microservice architecture and we did research on like what is the best language that we can choose and that time the boom uh, the booming was go and uh, we didn't had any transactional numbers or such things in uh, in place then but we were facing uh, scaling challenges with the uh, rails uh so that's the shifting point where we chose golang as our base language uh to be used okay okay uh, shilpa i have this question from amanpreet bagga asking uh, i mean some of you of course all of you kind of mentioned this uh, but uh, what makes golang better than other languages in handling concurrency i think all of you mentioned it maybe all of you can say a little bit about why why is golang better than other languages for in handling concurrency so yeah iman if you want to go iman you want to you understood you are uh, muted iman uh, yeah yeah so basically uh what golang concept on about, about the concurrency is like a not multi threading but a parallelism yeah uh maybe we can search for on this but so basically we know thread right the thread is actually on the Uh, operating system levels and uh, on the parallel system actually they like uh, reuse the thread so on for the concurrency in golang they call it go routine and in order to like uh, set up the go routine compare with the thread in the other programming language is is very cheap like uh, maybe uh, one per 100 maybe if i'm not wrong there is a text saying saying like that so yeah concurrency is quite uh, uh one one of the golang advantage yeah. yeah yeah to add to that uh simplicity simplicity is what i would say uh, sujit so basically um comparing with other languages the way uh, uh concurrency is handled inside go is much simpler than uh, your java or like c++ kind of thing right mm-hmm. so it's much more easier in the way and they have uh inbuilt a lot of uh, uh, new cool stuff within go uh, which ha- actually helps uh, to perform concurrency better like channels and stuff like that mhm mhm yeah shaker what's your experience suresh yeah yes yes correct they're saying that go routine is with uh, important uh, major things for the go go program language and also that uh, what uh, we our developers and our, our my some body builders there is a Uh, libraries available easily so uh, we can organizing our coding structure very easily for us uh, in uh, bin folders uh, 
so what a, if there are uh, hundreds of uh, uh, libraries available we can keep into our shelf or something then what whenever you need it is easily can import that uh, uh, libraries so the save of our development time actually for us there are so many communities available easily we can develop and at, the, at the same time uh, some of the things uh, uh, we have to uh, contribute to developers we have to make a more libraries like this actually for us so what is the latest the trending like uh, uh we have developed our payment gateway libraries uh, uh we have to check what are the uh, uh, many startups in, in india so the fintech companies is there and uh, uh, e-commerce companies is there so uh, based on that uh, we can like uh, we have developers have to uh, develop our libraries useful them for that uh, new startups companies very useful them. based on domain based library we have developers especially the payment gateway which i told you so what are the payment gateway available so based on that we can develop something e-commerce like this as because of contributed to these libraries yes we are we are developing for e-commerce platforms already e-commerce we, are, uh, e -commerce, uh, we already uh, spot commerce which we developed in node.js the same uh, uh, thing we plan to go develop in golang actually for us so we are planning for the riago commerce so that uh, that's a, that we are planning react front end back and uh, uh, golang so this stuff we are planning for open source we are planning to develop for us so it's recently that i will come in the market and also we are planning for cryptocurrencies uh, libraries uh, we, these are things these are latest trending so yeah shilpa yeah we have this question from anjali rao are there any upsides <laughs> or downsides of golang because google is backing it are there specific use cases where golang is blocked <laughs> interesting question there <laughs> uh, definitely there's like uh, upside and downsides of every language is right as uh, iman actually showed some advantages and disadvantages so anyways, and the question is we... iman i think because of the of google's backing is there anything specific to uh, golang advantages disadvantages um google specific um i would not really say anything <laughs> but uh, definitely there are like downsides of go uh, which is like uh, they don't uh, since the language itself is like pretty much uh, simple and uh, straightforward there are like very easy ways of over engineering and uh, getting lost inside the language because of non uh, non framework agnostic meaning like you can easily go wrong at many places yeah uh, since the language is very uh, easy and flexible uh, until unless you have a good grip you will not be able to uh, 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 you can't really get an efficiency in that as long as your code is not that complex but if google is backing uh, yeah they have been uh, using this for a long maybe like if they have introduced somewhere 2009 at least like 5 to 6 years back they have already used it uh since like that's how the google actually operates right they actually like uh, make it public only after like certain years so yeah definitely there's a, lo a lot of uh, good things if google is backing up because you always get a lot of open source contributions and the community building activities but india uh, community activities are still a uh, very minimal i would say but apart outside india there like uh, community activities are really great where where are the communities which cities have a decent community you think so it's on eastern europe and no uh, no in india in india in india it's predominantly on bangalore but uh, since the covid periods the meetups have been shut down i would say yeah 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 suresh what uh, chennai how's it yeah chennai uh, not much people in that uh, go like so right uh, it maybe that uh, next couple of uh, one or two years it will be a uh, be great but uh, i said that hardly that is a ratio of 125 percentage of people who less than 25 percent using for golang actually for okay okay but what what have you heard um uh, bangalore has a good community is there a good act, amount of action happening in terms of community yes yes bangalore is, yes, yes. Bangalore is uh, good community too. and also uh, and another thing is uh, instead of developer community uh, we are talking about but uh, we need develop a, uh, any open source community product see how the php is more popular uh, and because of they have a 
specific product already is available open source product see the e-commerce magento and the open card cs card many things will be there and if you go go with the content management system there is a wordpress and joomla things will be we go to education sector there is a moodle is with that so these there are many community product available the people can use it for the same thing the community will have developed many open source product like that uh, industry specific then the people are using the product then community will be grow for us we getting more jobs also on that topic same like a goal uh, golang we out develop a more community product open community source product ah ha 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 the developer is, is not like a github just posting on project and uh, others doesn't work actually for us uh, maybe the people is but we have to set up a one community people backing a one particular industry product they have to develop it then the people will easily navigate you see the the, uh, the wordpress and joomla the content management system is already there in phd the same which one, of, which one? uh joomla and the wordpress uh, huh. these are all phd based content management system okay the same kind of content management system we have to develop in uh, golang so the the time the people are think okay which one is latest tech stack uh, we are using for wordpress why not you migrate the new tech stack already is busy available then people will come there's no product no open source project then uh, how the people will coming for this in customer that's a problem but so developer have to contribute more uh, open source product okay then only that uh, reach the new people okay shilpa i have a question here from saket ns uh, iman maybe you can mm -hmm. just um, take this can you elaborate about the garbage collection in go you said it's much more efficient in go than uh, most other languages uh, garbage uh, collection yeah garbage collection so basically uh, it's about the memory management yeah in uh, programming language and uh, when we creating the variable inside the programming uh, we already reserve some block of memory uh, in our computer and it it need to be clean so compare with the c or c++ we need to like uh, clean it uh, manually uh, and then java come up and java have a Uh, have a garbage collector so basically we just focus on the coding and for the free the memory is uh, handled by the garbage collector and um yeah there is a like a algorithm for that for the mapping mapping the where, where is the the memory that need to be free or not and uh There is a comparison. You you maybe can find in the internet, but uh, Golang is quite fast. Yeah, it's quite fast compared with uh, Java. I think uh, Java. Uh, I'm not really uh, up to date with the Java, but I think Java like a release new garbage collection G1 or something like that uh, to have like a real time garbage collection. Uh, it's quite similar with the with the Golang. So yeah, it's a Golang is a fast. It's become is like a supported with the efficient concurrency uh, that Golang have. So yeah, something like that. Okay, okay. Shilpa, you. Yeah. Uh, so I just wanted to ask all the panelists: How is it? Is how easy is it to program for scalability using uh, Golang? Heman, do you want to go first? Yeah. Uh, definitely. So. the the main uh, use case of uh, golang itself is scalability right simplicity and scalability uh saying that uh so like uh, as i told you like initially the the balance between simplicity and the scalability uh was the like real challenge of the go and uh, not challenge it was like real use case of the go and uh, as i told earlier like mx is kind of using 150 request uh, 150000 request per second right uh with with that comes uh complexities as well right when you design microservice architecture it's always complex it's not that easy to develop uh because you need larger teams and you need larger infra uh, and uh, larger scope so what typically happens is like uh, there are like some uh, language uh, language specific uh, things which is like very easy in go which is one of the thing is called uh, grpcs it's basically on uh, 
the grpc has kind of uh, transformed the way the service talk to each other because uh, communication is one of the most hardest part in the microservice right because uh, these services talk with each other and uh, grpc with its uh, uh, simplicity between the communication between the services has made a lot of improvements in uh, making this entire thing work properly uh, I would say that is one of the key reasons uh, where it is actually picking up. And apart from that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, simplicity uh, is like, uh, and it is also efficient for uh, efficiently using your computer's uh, capacities. Uh, like we have seen uh, so many, uh, so, uh, we have seen so many use cases where uh, our CPU utilization of our uh, servers would be uh, under, 1% or 2%, uh, but my DB usages is almost like 60%. Like uh, the, they're like nowhere near, right? Because, so, because, sorry, because? Uh, because uh, the, the, the where my servers are running, uh, the Go is like super fast. Oh. And, oh. Uh, it is making so many requests to the database servers. The database servers like are running on SQL, right? So they are not able to cope up with the Go. So they're like 60% usage and they're like below one or 2%. So that's the real power of uh, Golang. Okay. Suresh, what do you think? I mean, what do you think? I mean, the Swiggies and the Zomatos, uh, the, the big baskets were scaling very rapidly, I mean, especially after the pandemic and all that. What do you think they would be using? The question for me or what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just asking you to guess. I mean, I, I, you, would you recommend that they use Go and not something else? Yeah, um, maybe they, they, they are used because they have multi servers. I, I think it's each API have a different, different microservices. Uh, uh, but Hammond already showed that oh, that is one uh, human body diagrams like this, uh, muscles, heart, and everything. These are all core functionality have running different, different servers actually. For. Right. Uh, so that. Uh, even server side, they have to scale with that. Not only that uh, go, but apart from this, there is a server side also. They have some scalable, uh, vertical scalable, horizontal scalable. They have tickets are using for this. And uh, if you if using GoLang, there is a hardware less uh, cost is uh, no need for uh, high uh, compared to other languages. Uh, in built into most of some of the mechanisms available in the GoLangs, uh, uh, it has reduced that hardware cost actually for this. It reduces. Uh -huh. It is a hardware cost. So big companies. That's the reason. Maybe the I thought they they choosing the GoLang as one of the reason. And the other thing is, uh, microservices easily can build it. That is other other reason for us. Okay. 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 Shilpa, anything? Yeah. This question is from Harshavardhan. What is the watershed moment needed for GoLang in India to explode in popularity? <laughs> It's what? all about adoption. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so if you just see like, uh, if you just go back, like how things moved, right? So we were back in Rails community um, where the Rails was like just picking up somewhere between 2009 or like it was just starting up and uh, not many people uh, knew about uh, Ruby or like Rails. But apparently like uh, fast forward around five to six years later, if you see like Rails was like booming. So I would say somewhere similarly, uh, Go is somewhere there today. Uh, and it's all about community and uh, how the adoption rate increases. Uh, but I'd, I would uh, not really say it would actually match uh, with those because uh, the number of implementation areas are like very few today, because if you see right now, the most dominant uh, language uh, uh, across India would be TypeScript and uh, like Node because of uh, it's like super, uh, super fast and you have like bunch of core libraries already in market. And uh, I would say like Go is like uh, still not it there uh, compared to your Node of like uh, a node, right? So it's definitely going to take uh, another five to six years to get the boom. Basically, more adoption rates 
or like uh, and uh, recently there were like bunch of frameworks i would say like frameworks actually plays a really important role uh, behind making your language like super right because uh, one example would be rails like uh, after rails came ruby actually boomed up so maybe there will be uh, there are like bunch of frameworks yeah even iman is like of working one on, on one of his uh, framework he's kind of open sourced it and like similarly like uh, there are bunch of frameworks coming up like jin and recently there's a facebook has also backed one of the frameworks which is called uh, uh, ent go or something uh, i would say like yeah once you have some strong frameworks in place uh, which can pick up uh, the language so it's somewhere between like next 5 to 6 years you'll kind of uh, see that boom so if you are so much into it and you've been there around well, why don't you create that community yes we are, we we are planning on that actually for us we, uh, we are yeah. started already that's why uh, we are started for gogig.dev that uh, own website we do uh -huh. Uh, and uh, because the all we have functionalities in our internal developers i said develop uh, weekly the two or three scripts they can participate uh, upload that github the people can download we are working on it actually for us and in between we are getting one more one project also so that again other developers all are engaged in for this so i'm i'm very passionate about for this uh, uh, definitely we can do for us yeah. <laughs> yeah looks like we need a bigger community quickly <laughs> yes, yes, yeah yeah so i have this question from uh, manisha roy asking um, uh, does golang have enough experts and community on stack overflow to answer queries yeah definitely a lot yes yeah yeah, yeah. there are you said globally anyway it's quite a big thing uh, yeah. so aha uh -huh. okay so there are plenty of people Shilpa, anything? Yeah, you mind if you can talk about the job opportunities emerging in Go now that there is also adoption for uh, cryptocurrency? How that is panning out? If you can talk about uh, your own experience. Iman, yeah, uh, you're muted. Yeah, Iman, you. Oh, sorry, I thought Iman. Uh, can you repeat the question again? so we just wanted to understand the job opportunities emerging uh, you know using go and if you can also talk about use cases in cryptocurrency what is the demand there to lending and all that no coin box is into lending, lending. Uh, yeah 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 so for the opportunity i think uh, golang will be uh, uh, keep uh, will be better and better in the future yeah because basically the talent pool will be follow what the needs yeah so when the company uh, start updating the goal line and the talent the talent pool will be grow and um, i'm not sure about the india but in indonesia uh, more and more startup uh, using goal line yeah you using goal line uh and uh we have uh, some unicorn like a uh, gojek tokopedia is like the uh, actively uh propagate the the calling and for the for the peer to peer lending yeah so coinbox is uh, like a uh peer to peer lending so um yeah basically we want to like uh, helping people to uh getting money with a uh, secure uh, and safely uh, like a peer to peer here is not uh, different with the peer to peer in the crypto which is uh, it's uh, the technology behind the crypto but peer to peer lending is more like uh, uh we have a borrower that want to uh, borrow some money and we just uh, meet them with the lender so basically coinwork is like a marketplace for the uh for the lender and borrower who which want to borrow and lender okay i want to ask this question um, are there advantages to rewriting existing system existing systems with go what do you think definitely yes um on certain scenarios like where you're facing some uh, scaling challenges so predominantly multiple companies are doing the same like uh, uber yeah. i just told uh, 
in order to uh, increase their user experience like uh, they were kind of facing uh, challenges for they were actually predominantly on node.js for their one of the uh, map services and they later moved to golang because uh, to make those services more faster so yeah and uh, our self coinworks we completely migrated from rails to golang it's all about like yeah scaling with simplicity and back to one more question where uh, like uh, shilpa was mentioning about uh, the um, hiring market i would say so the demand for golang is actually increasing a lot um and uh, if you see uh, as i told earlier uh, across like somewhere in london uh, any golang uh, person is almost getting around 9 to 10 request per per year interview request so that's how huge demand is right now for golang and it's going to uh, so, uh, soon explode in india as well so yeah maybe yeah uh, so if anyone out there like looking for a job for golang just do ping us for any <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, get is, nowadays the getting a golang job job is uh, instead of making a receive uh, my my suggestion is the fresher passed out they have to learn 40 to 45 days of uh, self learning that's it and create one small project put it on the github and a profile page into linkedin easily get a job actually for this stage yeah 40 45 days uh, you can self learn is what you're saying is enough 45 days enough easily uh, learn that person should be a passionate about the technologies technology and you said if you know c it's become very easy to uh, yes learn. in that uh, engineering the four years degree the, they can learn everything for basic things of c and c plus plus and java all everything for it. but after passed out uh, this, uh, they have to work. maximum the six six months they can work uh, forty five days or six months they can easily can get a job for the yeah company. yeah for pressure yeah. Level, because any if any company is not hiring people for five years or six years people will go like because people is not available in India so if you learn today that you can easily get a job in a small company or startup company can go and join then after two or three years is uh, a senior in that okay. technology. Okay. Okay. Uh, Heman, just to get back to the previous question on uh, rewriting, I mean, so how, how long would uh, something like rewriting take, you think, if somebody uh, were to do it? Um, it depends, actually. It depends on how well diversify your team is like and uh, and uh, from where you're switching, right? Say if you're switching from uh, Ruby or like a Python, which is non uh, non-type language, to a type language, right? It would take more time because, uh, yeah, there's like different paradigms and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you're moving from a type language, it should be faster uh, because you already know a couple of use cases around there. Uh, when you're moving, it becomes much more simpler. But when you try to define it with a new language, uh, with a new type language, it usually takes a role because uh, your functionalities or like the way you like the functions might differ. So yeah, uh, it depends on like uh, various other factors on like, factors. how complicated okay. what stuff. you're coming from. Okay. Okay. Yes. Shilpa? Yeah, this question is from Varun Raju. What are the best resources and projects to learn Golang? Oh, uh, 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 yeah. so, go ahead, Shekhar. Yeah, uh, the resourcing you can you can surf in the Google. There are many uh, blogs and articles, medium stuff. So easily can uh, first of all understanding about GoLang and the basic things and everything. There's a many websites available for uh, the resources. Yeah. Even today's in information age, if you go search in the YouTube, you get dozens of videos of all these activities. So when you said 40, so, 45 days, you can self-learn basically through YouTube and all that is what you're suggesting. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough for us. For us. Because there's no need, they, they, no need for project knowledge. Basically, they, uh, after joining the company, all project, how can do it, everything, they will handle it first. Only those people knows for skill, who haven't made a basic skill. That's enough for us. Okay, okay. Yeah. Shilpa, yeah, go on. 
Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to ask, uh, um, you know, all the three of you, how well does it work in modern con container systems, right? So if you can share your thoughts on uh, that. Yeah, so Iman had mentioned uh, content microservices and all that you had mentioned. Yeah, right? yeah. How well does it work in modern container systems, right? It's either Kubernetes or something like that. Yeah. Do you want to tell Iman? You want to do that? Take that? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to answer that. I think uh, it's uh, maybe uh, one of the best choice. Yeah, if you want to use container for calling because. Uh, basically, uh, it's compiled to binary, so it will be very easy to set up in the container compared if you uh, need to use uh, other thing like uh, Java, you need to install the JRM and anything. Yeah. And the compilation is also fast. So yeah, I think it's a, a quite a suitable. Okay. Okay. And also with uh, not to mention uh, only containers like uh, with serverless also, like if you see Golang is kind of picking up. Um, so if you see Google is uh, also backing up with uh, cloud functions and app engine, where like Golang is like uh, super smooth and to get, uh, get your service live with very uh, less effort. Okay. And, uh, slowly like on the AWS also the Lambda, uh, the Go is kind of picking up, uh, though it's not really compilation with a, a cold start with no JS, but it is definitely picking up there also. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, uh, thanks a lot. We're almost out of time. Uh, so great discussion. But yeah, um, I know both your companies are hiring Go developers in a big way. I mean, um, Suresh, of course, is totally go. Uh, Hemant, you're also looking for go talent, I think, in India, and you're struggling to find them, you're saying. So actually, for all the viewers, a lot of opportunities there. Uh, companies like PicoSoft and Coinworks are looking for uh, people who understand Go. So, And Suresh, all the best with your efforts to build a community. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We'll Amit. soon have a vibrant community in India as well. So thanks a lot, Iman. Thanks for joining us from Indonesia. Thanks, Heman. Thanks, Suresh. Great having you all. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Shilpa. Thanks, Sujit. Uh, thanks for giving the opportunity for partic uh, participating for the great webinar event. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Times, for giving us this opportunity. Thank you. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Okay. Thank Bye, Iman.